This is the joy that the angel talked about when he spoke to the shepherds. It's great joy that comes when you hear the good news. A Savior is here. That's good news if you know you need a Savior. If you know that life isn't working on your terms. If you know that your other loves are misplaced and only your love for Christ can remain supreme and in first place and everything else needs to take its place behind him. When you know those things to be true, that you need a Savior and that he is the one that can bring you the deepest of joy, then it's, it's good news and it brings great joy to your heart because he's here. The Messiah, the one you've been waiting for, is here. You who have been at the mercy of life's pain and suffering, good news and great joy, your deliverer has come. If you were powerless against overwhelming foes and you were left to the margins of the world, good news and great joy because your king, strong and mighty, is here. Your deliverer has come. If you've been on the outside looking in, good news and great joy because you are now an insider in Christ's kingdom. The strong and powerful and the affluent have been brought low and those who have been on the margins, have been brought in, included into the kingdom. Good news and great joy because you've been brought on the inside. You're no longer just an outsider. You are getting justice. Healing and wholeness is coming to you in Christ, the Messiah. It's not just for those, for those who it seems that life just works out for them. They have all the answers. They've got it figured out. Their plan They just need God to bless their plan. No good news because God has a plan for you. He has joy for you. So joy can well up in your heart knowing that your Messiah has come. In fact, the truth is this type of joy only comes to those who recognize they need a Messiah. In this season, we're celebrating that we have a Savior in Jesus Christ. We're celebrating that he has come, but we're also anticipating that he's coming again. And it's for those that are looking to that moment who have received him and have found their savior, this is good news and great joy. For those who are anticipating his return, this is good news and great joy. He's come and his promise, the fullness of life that is found in him. But for many, it is an intrusion. Even while celebrating the the lights, the presence, the trees, even while singing the carols, they find this news of a Savior a little bit intrusive into their life. A Savior? Does he want me to give this up? Does he want to reprioritize my loves? Does he want to change my plans? Well, I can't answer those questions in your specific setting, but what I can say is probably. (laughs) It's probably true for you as it has been for me that I need a savior because I have life, not just that I need tweaking, I need it new. I don't want to just give Jesus the life that I've created for him. I want him to cut away my life and give me new life. I don't want him just to bless my loves. I want him to be the greatest of all loves and to reprioritize my life. And it's in that moment that true joy can come to us.